Hey, and welcome back to Master Guitar Fred. My name is Jörg. I have bought my fair share of guitars in my lifetime. Today I want to give you some tips on what to look for when you purchase a second-hand guitar. The tips I'm going to give you today is for a face-to-face -face transaction where you get the chance to actually look at the guitar, maybe even play it, and then make a decision if you want it or not. Right. also with a new guitar, if I'm shopping for a new guitar and I have a choice to pick one out, I will put the electric guitar, this is for electric guitars only, I put my ear on the body, I will pluck a string and I'm listening for a sustain. Is the sound carrying or is it abruptly stop? So your body, the wood of your body is a very important part of the guitar, of the electric guitar. It will the sound will resonate in it and there's some wood that sometimes is dead where the sound doesn't travel in there quite as good. So I would certainly inspect the neck making sure there's no uh, cracks or any visible sign of that the neck has been repaired because it broke and somebody glued it back together. That can be done actually quite professionally but you want to look at that and make sure you don't buy something uh, that you end up not wanting. And at the same time you might want to just check the body too. If it matters to you how your guitar looks cosmetically, uh, then you know your body, if you don't want any dings and whatnot, uh, then that's up to you. However, I don't think it has a big impact on the playability of a guitar as long as there's no cracks or you know severe damage on the body, right? The neck is very important though. While doing the neck inspection, unless it's a glued-in neck, such as in Gibson's, uh, if it's a bolt-on neck, you want to just kind of check and see how clean the neck pocket is. Uh, does it look snug? Does it look like somebody has put a new neck in and maybe not done a superb job? So just keep an eye out for that, okay? And also, just stand behind the guitar and just look how the low E string and the high E string, if they run parallel to the side of the neck, the fretboard, okay? Or if it's kind of crooked, it should all line up. That means that the neck is in the pocket straight and it's not somehow twisted, okay? So it should all look very even. Right, the distance down here all the way up should be the same between the edge of the fret board to the string and then the same on the top, on the low, the thick E string that it runs nice and parallel. I'm definitely going to check the tuning machines. I would try to move them, make sure they move freely and they're not stuck. I also check and make sure they're not loose which wouldn't be a big deal because you can just tighten the screws and the, the bolt in front for that matter. Okay, but definitely make sure that they're actually working uh, and are in good shape. Number four, I would definitely inspect the nut, make sure there's no cracks in it and make sure it's well put into the groove of the neck. Okay, it's nice and flush on both sides. Sometimes these not get changed by a person that might not be qualified and in the process they might damage the pocket a little bit. So I would definitely have a look and make sure that it looks all nice and smooth. Number five, I would definitely check the truss rod with an Allen key. Make sure you bring a bunch of different size Allen keys. Maybe you already know what size Allen key you need for the guitar you're going to have a look at. And hopefully the seller will have an Allen key for that that you should usually come with a guitar okay and what you do is you want to check it that the truss rod is actually functioning okay so put the allen key into the nut and then turn it just a tiny bit counterclockwise 
and I'm talking about a little bit so so you know that that knot is actually moving and it's not ceased and then move it right back to where you started off with okay that's very important so you're not actually changing any settings in that truss rod all right definitely an important part to do I did buy a neck once I didn't check it a few weeks later I installed it into a guitar and uh, hmm, the truss rod wasn't functioning at all uh, the person who sold it to me dropped it you know there was a little bit of dent on the headstock I uh, didn't question it and uh, yeah and ended up uh, having to buy another neck number six I would kind of take a guitar and line it up behind your eyes just like you would shoot a gun okay and you look with your one eye closed you look the strings go straight and then the neck should have a slight bow like a bow and arrow right your strings are the string that you shoot the arrow with and your neck should just slightly bow back okay now not a lot just a tiny little bit okay just like here that means that the guitar is probably set up quite well, okay? When I choose a guitar, or when I buy a guitar, I play it first unplugged. I wanna hear a really nice sound. Uh, I wanna hear some sustain. So if, you're, if your guitar sounds nicely unplugged, it will sound awesome plugged in, okay? Secret. Before you play the guitar, make sure it's in tune Okay, bring a tuner, tune it up, and then just check the intonation. Open low E string. Once your tuner says it's in tune in E, then press the 12th fret E string, and make sure that the tuner registers an E again, okay? There's an octave here. So, when you do that with each string, if you have intonation problem, that's no big deal, that can be set up. But it just shows you that uh, the guitar is actually, you know, been taken care of and somebody looked after and make sure that it is in good working order. So play it a little bit. If you feel that some of your strings buzz, that could mean that the knot hasn't been built correctly. The strings are too high. To check if a knot is properly set up, you would capo. Uh, on the third fret and then the distance on the top of the first fret to the string should be just very minimal okay like very very little if the knots too high if the knot slots are cut too high that means that when you play open chords your fingers let's say I play a A minor here my index finger might mute the high E string here, okay? So that could be a knot problem, yeah. So keep playing a little bit, open chords. Play down the neck a little bit. See if it sounds clean everywhere. If there's any buzzing going on. I usually like to do a little bit of bending. When you bend, the note should sustain and not die. If it dies on the bend up, that means that the uh, neck is probably not set up correctly, so I might need a truss rod adjustment, which is no big deal because as long as the truss rod works, you can then adjust that, right? But it'll give you an idea if the guitar is set up correctly. So do a few bends, especially on the lower string. So that sounds good okay okay so play it unplugged on a used guitar you might want to check the fret wear because if the frets are worn down that could be a fairly expensive job to get them uh, refretted or dressed uh, that's usually uh, you know quite a bit of work for a luthier for a guitar tech so usually what I do is, if you're not sure what a fret should look like, then look at the ones that are down here, okay? Because not too many people play a lot down here, so the frets don't get worn down like they get, for
for example, I play a lot in this section here, so I, I end up usually I end up using my frets here a lot, and when I'm doing bends and whatnot, it takes a little bit of the frets off over time. So you want to check down here. You want to see how they feel. Okay, they should be nice and round and top. Okay, now if you kind of go further down, you will notice I have a little bit of wear here, where the top is now on on the, maybe on the upper three four strings. It feels round because I'm not bending a lot up there, not doing this motion here a lot, right? I noticed here that they're not really round on top anymore. They're a little bit flat, okay? So you want to check that and see if you have a lot of wear because it means you might have to get them redressed. If they're really flat and worn right down, that usually means that you might have to refret or, you know, it's a little bit more expensive to get that fixed, okay? But definitely look at that. When they're too flat, when you do any sliding, sometimes your fingers get stuck on that fret because it's so sharp on top, right? Because it wears up and it grinds down, uh, creates, creates a flat top on that top of the rounded fret, okay? So just keep an eye on that so you don't end up uh, spending more money getting that guitar uh, to work for you. If you buy a guitar with a tremolo, Make sure you take the back cover off and on a strat you should see three springs at least. Uh, you should also see a grounding wire that is soldered. Okay, it's very important otherwise you could get electrocuted. So make sure you see a ground, grounding wire coming out of the body, out from the electronics onto uh, that plate there. Okay, this particular uh, tremolo has been blocked. I put a wood block in it because I'm not using it. Um, for me, Strat tremolos are notoriously going out of tune, so and uh, so I'm, I just blocked it off. But if yours is a floating tremolo, it comes with an arm, you want to make sure it's actually working. And you can kind of take that cover off. There's six screws that you can take off. You can inspect it, and then you can see if everything is working. Okay. We're now ready to plug it in and we're going to check all the electronics, make sure that all the switches and buttons are working. Okay. So first thing you want to make sure that the input jack is not loose. We don't want any noise when we wiggle on the cord. There's a little screw here. Sometimes they get loose. So you want to make sure everything is tight so we don't hear anything but the guitar. So I'm going to check the pickups. So this one here has a five-way pickup. So down position would be this pickup. Next one up would be bridge and middle. This one here would be for the middle only. Next one up would be for middle and neck and then the neck pickup. Okay. Some guitars will only have two pickups, so you have one, two, both, and then three would be just this one here. So you can check the different configuration, whatever your guitar you're buying. Okay, so I put it down, use a screwdriver. That works. No sound, no sound. Now I'm going to go here, should be this one here, and that one in the middle. Pickups, good. Now this should be the middle only, nothing, yeah middle, next one should be middle and neck, nothing here, good, and then just the neck, perfect, so the switch here works, volume, works good. Muddy, bassy, and then up trebly. Good. And then the lower one is for this position here. Everything's working perfectly, so I'm pretty happy. Yeah. What remains now is to play the guitar, get comfortable with it, and see if you and the guitar are a match, and then buy it. Or not. Now, I hope this will help you 
make a decision next time when you purchase a second-hand guitar. Yeah. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.